Hello everyone and welcome to week three of Financial Management of Aging Services. I know for some of us today is Monday Martin Luther King Day and a holiday but not here in the world of cyber education there are no holidays so we're moving forward as normal. Now first of all let's talk a little bit about last week week two we had a couple of issues come up last week the first one that was a hiccup was the quiz I don't know how it happened but for those of you that are taking Dr. Bowling's marketing course here in Aging Services you recognize the quiz because it was the same so thanks to one of the students bringing that to my attention very quickly we got that corrected and the the right quiz is posted and most of you have taken that at this point but when that quiz got posted one of the questions was posted incorrectly it was the one having to do with tangible assets and it was supposed to read which of the following is not considered a tangible asset and, and then it only gave you three choices machinery land and buildings which are all tangible assets the correct answer was patents that was answer D for some reason it didn't end up in the final quiz and so all of you got credit for that question again because a student brought it to my attention in the discussion board and therefore everybody's going to get credit for that question whether you answered it or uh, did not answer it so the quiz was a, a bit of a stumbling block we got it all fixed and that uh, is no longer an issue the discussion question responses were very thoughtful and thorough this week those were uh, enjoyable to read you did a nice job on those as of this recording some of you are still working on the assignment having to do with financial statements and that's okay it was designed to be a, a challenging assignment and get you thinking and working hard because these financial statements are one of the most important parts of what we're going to do this term now this week we're going to continue with our key financial indicators and this week we're going to be taking a look at the statement of cash flows and annual reports again two of the four most important financial reports that any companies produce statement of cash flow is very important in annual reports of course is where everything is laid out for the public to read so for this week you're going to have some extra reading because I want to pull in a little bit more resources than just the textbook to give you a greater exposure and feel for what's involved in the statement of cash flows and the annual reports because of the additional reading there won't be a specific assignment for this week there is a discussion question that I want you to respond to as thoroughly as you did last week great responses there is a quiz and I've looked at it it should be fine it should launch fine and all the questions should be correct so that's what we're going to do this week and it's a, a good deal of information for you to absorb and cover and move forward because moving forward looking at next week we are going to start talking about budgeting which is one of my favorite topics to talk about budgets really can be our best friend so we're gonna make budgeting fun next week and also next week I'm going to introduce you to your term project you'll begin that in week five I want to introduce you to it next week so you can be thinking about what you're going to be working on there. So that's what next week looks like. So that's where we're at. A little bit about last week, a little bit about this week, and a little bit about next week. I hope those of you that had a day to relax and reflect today that you took the time to do that. And we will move forward uh, with our discussion about financial statements. I look forward to next week and working on budgeting. Have a great week, everybody.